Hi guys. Once again, my name is Fred and welcome to Cementia Farms. Today, I'm bringing you a crucial question that most of us have. And the question is, should the youth go into farming in Africa or in Ghana? Stay tuned as I bring you, should the youth go into farming? Welcome back again and as I said today we're going to be talking about a question that most of you have and most of the youth watching also have and that is should we the youth go into farming and the youth here doesn't really represent age but I'm talking about you the illiterate or you the literate that is watching me you the guy that thinks you have an office job or you that think you live in the city or you that are in the village going to high school or university or teacher training or you the teacher itself or you living abroad thinking that you are outside should you go into farming or me right so it's not about age but I'm asking should the youth go into farming and what is your opinion please Go into the comment and share your view on that again. I know recently the Honorable Kennedy of Japan spoke about farming and how disappointing and how he advises against farming. We've also seen some well to do or successful businessmen like Chairman Woon to me and so many others who have been into farming and continue to do well and do farming. So why should I go into farming? And to me, one of the questions I ask myself, isn't it, sorry to say, stupid, ignorant, that from childhood, I've seen my mom and dad farming all their life and nothing really good have come out of it. And I see their life is not something or an exemplar that I will want to leave. So why should I go to farming? But, are we not forever going to be eating, going to be needing meat? So if we don't farm, how are we going to survive? Food security is an issue. I know when COVID came, what everybody was very, very um, like worried about was food security. Are we going to have enough food? Even in developed world where they have laborers from for example in the US coming from Mexico and other countries to work there, are the laborers gonna come? And if they don't come, how are we gonna produce to meet the demand that we have? So then what do we do with our grape? As I said, this episode is to discuss, right? So I'm gonna give you guys a platform for you to comment below. But we're gonna turn this into a series where I want to get in touch to the local extension officer here. Go to the veterinary officer, extension officer for crops for animals and ask them that should I, a youth, go into farming? And if yes, why? And what does the government have in place for me? So that we can expose some of these things that we don't know. I never knew that the government was giving fertilizer at a subsidy or a subsidized price for farmers to I end into uh, maize farming. Little did I know that the government was actually giving pesticides for free when they, um, you know, I forgot what they are called, but those worms started coming into my maize. If I knew this, or if maybe if you knew this, you could reduce that cost from your maize estimation or expenses and decide that maize is profitable en enough. What does the government have for cashew, for cocoa, for livestock? We want to explore that. So if you are even an extension officer watching us um, in the agri-community and wants to grant us that interview, 
please let us know but i'm gonna go the extra mile and go to the office and hopefully i can get some answers for you guys whether it is smart for you to go into farming i'm not gonna end there as well i'm also gonna hit on the streets next week and ask you the youth why are you not in the farm business and should you and i go into farming so watch us we might be hitting at your doorstep next week to get on the street and get real-time information from people out there and what they think and why they are not in farming or why they are into farming we're going to speak to a variety of people already people that i know in this community that are amazing teachers doctors that even have cows um um what is it pigs and are doing all kinds of farming you're going to ask them how is it going why did they choose it and why do you doing it right so stay tuned this is going to be a very interesting um series and i'm hoping that you guys are going to stay tuned and enjoy it once again you and i know that the government is building a lot of factories around in my area here they just built a tomatoes factory why this is a great opportunity why shouldn't we the youth going we're going to go to the tomatoes factory speak to the people there and find out what are the packages they have for us and if you're youth watching me in the Brecum area maybe you'll stop folding your hands and get back on the road and start farming tomatoes because for once there's going to be an already demand for your tomatoes somebody to buy as many and as much quantities as you can produce so i'm going to go there as well and speak to them um a, a, a pig um slaughterhouse um was open last week um in around the ashanti region area and if you're also watching me from the ashanti region i mean why not pigs you know you start with five pigs by a year you have about 20 pigs easy business like all what you need is your time small capital to start and i'm going to speak to even some banks to see how do we even get investment if i want to start farm and i'm a high school graduate university graduate i have a day job is there any opportunities for loans or anything to support me and i'm going to explore every chance or ideas or platform that is there that can answer the reason why you and i should either go into farming or not go into farming so guys join me as i take you on this journey i don't know how long it's going to take and i i hope that everybody that i go and speak to allows me to grant this interview i know not everybody likes to be in front of the camera but i want to explore this for us some of us are living abroad we have no access to the information that is on the ground here you know because as you know it's hard to find information in in africa and in ghana as well so i'm going to get out there find the best things to convince you some of you have been watching this video and hoping to become farmers your friends and family people are telling you no farming blah 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 they are right because from what we've seen our parents didn't do it well our grandfathers didn't do it well and people now are still farming like days of abraham if we're gonna do it we got to do it right and we got to do it and make sure that after that we're gonna make profit out of it that the the, the business is recreated and that's why I'm doing this um, series. So stay tuned as I bring you the series on should the youth go into farming. Thank you very much guys for always watching us and supporting us get to where we are. Please share this video to your brothers, people that you know so that we can all contribute and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel. And I hope together we can make the best out of agric in africa and ghana and feed our nation and continent